Hello and welcome to our first video which is going to show you how to play a game that we call Risky. To play this game you need an ordinary pack of playing cards and possibly a piece of paper and a pen to keep track of your score. To play the game shuffle the pack of cards and place them face down on the table. The aim of the game is to try and get to 100 and in this version Jacks and Queens are going to be worth 9 and our King and our Ace are going to be our wipeout cards. The first player takes a card and that's the start of their running total. They continue to take cards until they either pick up an Ace or a King and get a wipeout or decide to stick. If you do get a wipeout you lose all the scores that you've got in your turn and it ends your go. Here's an example of playing the game. So I'm going to play Risky. Ideally you play this as a partnership or as a three or a four, however many is in your family, it's up to you. But you have a pack of cards and you place it down on the table. You take turns of drawing cards until you either draw a king or an ace and then you would have a wipeout and you would lose your score. But you can stick at any point. So I'll play and show you how it works. So I'm going to take a card. I've got a jack. So at jacks and queens, in this version of the game, I'm going to make 9, but you could make them 11, you could make them 13, it really doesn't matter. You can pick what value you give the picture cards, but I'm going to make it 9. So I've got 9, I'm going to draw another one, another 9, so I'm going to use my doubles and get 18. Another 9, 27, and a 10, I can use my place value. I've got 37 and I'm going to stick there. If I was playing against another member of the family, they would then have their go until they either got striked out or they decided to stick. So it's going to be my go again now. So I've got three. I can use my bond to 10 and make 40. Two. So I've got now to 42. Got 52, another place value calculation. I'm going to keep going. Oh no, I've got a wipeout or a strike. So all of those scores are lost. And when it's my go again, I'll be back at 37. The other people I'm playing with will have a go and then it'll be my turn. So I'm going to take, so I'm back at 37. So I'm now at 39, 41. 43, 48, remember Jack's a 9, so I'm going to add 10 and take one away, so I'm now on 57, and I'm now going to stick, I'm going to not risk it anymore, it's then going to be somebody else's turn, they're going to keep their score, come back to me again, so I'm starting from 57 this time. So 57, add 5, I'm going to add 3 and then add 2, which takes me to 62. Your children might refer to this as a think 10 strategy if they've done that at school, but they might not. Adding 3, which is 65. Another 3, which is 68. I'm going to risk one more. Which, a queen, which is a 9 in my game. So I'm going to add 10 and take one away, which makes 77. I'm going to risk one more, or another nine. So I'm going to add 10 and take it away, which is 86. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to not risk it. And then it's going to be somebody else's go. Then it'll come back to my turn again. And I'm going to start from 86. So I've got an add nine, which is 95. I'm going to risk it. And I've got there. So I'm going to add another 9, which was 104. So I would get to my goal. Now it might be that somebody else I'm playing with has got there before me and they would be the winner. There are lots of different ways to adapt this game. The most obvious is to change the value of the Jack and the Queen. You could make them 11 and 12 or any other number that you wish to. Or you could make Jack and Queen more wipeout cards so you've got more chance to get wiped out. Another adaptation is that you could start at 100 and race down to zero so you're subtracting rather than adding. 
to make it a bit more complicated, you can get your children to do something to the card before they add it to their running total. So for example, every time you draw a card, you might have to multiply it by three before you add it on. So if you draw a three, rather than adding three, you add nine. If you draw a six, rather than adding six, you add 18. So if you're doing this, you might need to make your total that you're get going to bigger. So you might want to make it 200 or 300, depending on how long you want the game to last. If you wanted to add other links, you could make target numbers within the total that you're making. So for example, if you landed on a prime number greater than 20, you get an extra bonus 10 points to add to your score. There's lots and lots of different ways to adapt it. To simplify the game, you could just use the playing cards ace to five and then pick a wipeout card, say a jack, a queen or a king. And you can make your running total that you're aiming for 20 or 30. The children could take a card like before and keep a running total, but they might use beads or a toy of some form to help keep them track of what their total rather than writing it down. This game's great because it provides lots of opportunities for the children to just keep their fluency of those key facts that they need to know. Adding lots of single digit numbers and keeping a running total will really help with their arithmetic. If your children are in year two or above, what you want to really encourage is them to use lots of calculation strategies rather than just counting on the total each time. So as I demonstrated in the video, they could be using their place value knowledge if they're adding 10. Or if they're adding nine, they could use an adjust strategy. So they might add 10 and take one away, or they might do something called rebalancing, where they take one off their total and then add 10, and that would be the same. They might use a think 10 strategy. For this one, they'll think about what is the next multiple of 10 that's coming up. They'll regroup the number that they're adding to take them to the multiple of 10, and then how many, how many more. So for example, if they're on 37 and they're adding six, they'll regroup the six into three and three. They'll add three to get to 40 and they'll add three to get to 43. Hope you enjoy playing Risky with your children and adapting it any way you like. Perhaps add to the comments ways that you've adapted it and we can share those among the community. Looking forward to seeing you all again soon for another game. Take care, bye.